Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about the Power BI storage modes. So let's start. So uh, what a, so Power BI essentially has three storage modes. One is the import, where tables are imported and cached. Data queries can only be fulfilled from the cache data. So what happens is that uh, it gets all the data into the Power BI service or into the Power BI desktop. And then um, it, the data gets stored with the file. And when you open the file, the data can get rendered. Then you've got the direct query mode where the data is not cached. So you essentially you hit the source system, whatever it could be an Excel file. So it goes to the source system in real time and fetches the data and then it becomes available to us. And then there is the dwell mode, which is the data is not is cached or not cached depending on the context of the Power BI. So it's, it's determined uh, at the time of when you're interacting with the visual. So uh, let's just keep going on. So uh, when do we have import mode? So this is the most common mode used to develop data sets. So it, it does deliver very fast performance because the data sits uh, with the file and it's sitting either if you're in Power BI service, then it sits in the Power BI service or it is embedded with the desktop file on your local machine. So it doesn't have to go and fetch the data that that overhead is resolved or it's it's not there. It provides support for Q&A and Quick Insights. So if you want to run Q&A or Quick Insights in the Power BI service, uh, the import mode supports it. Data is stored on disk. So that's what we've discussed. It's fully loaded into memory. So the VertiPak engine, uh, it's stored in a compressed format and then it's uh, stored in memory. So when you interact, you know, it becomes really fast. So and then the sixth point is if the data is modeled correctly for optimization, the mode offers up to 10x compression rate. So um, it, it is it definitely compresses the data and it works really well with a star schema. So if you want to uh, use this, uh, Power BI recommendation is to use a star schema. What are the disadvantages? So the model is based in memory and it does not work well with large data sets. So you there's just so much you can um, have in memory. So if it's a really big data, or it's a very fast growing data, it becomes very difficult. It slows things down. Uh, data latency because it, you've already imported that data into your Power BI service or the file. It is only current as the last e refresh. So if, and it offers you 48, uh, so you can refresh your data in the Power BI service uh, every half an hour, and then you can uh, refresh it on demand on, on your Power BI desktop, but then there is that overhead. And full refresh can be time consumer as it is removed all data from the tables and reloads the data sources. So if you've set your model to uh, full refresh, it will clean out what data already exists and then re-import the data. But then you can work around this by using incre incremental refreshes. So it's definitely worth reading about incremental refreshes with this one. Uh, then uh, carrying on, so we were talking about the direct query mode and you can see that it's just importing data from the database or it could be an excel file or whatever and its on-prem resources require gateway and live queries get data from a single for source so uh, when do you use it well i think uh, it's it's for frequently changing data where you need more real-time um, uh, views so the advantage is, is the import model size limits do not apply in this scenario because you're not importing data it's in the database it's queried at live at in real time so there's no limit no schedule refresh required because you're not refreshing any case a uh, low or no data uh, latency because you're getting it as you're interacting and real-time reports can be or near let's just say near real-time reports can be configured during the, uh, using this so um, i think use cases if it's a frequently changing data set and you want very little latency this is a good uh, pathway and then finally, the last one is um, when you're modeling Power BI, this is the composite mode, which a table is configured in composite mode, uses both import and direct query. So Power BI determines the best or the most efficient mode to use for each of the table on case by case basis. So as you go interacting, it can decide, you know, what, whether, how it wants to play with it. Uh, and they strive to deliver the best of direct query and import when configured correctly. So, um, that's pretty much it in this video we've discussed you know what are the various storage modes so you've got direct query you've got import and then you've got the composite table and then we've covered the advantages and disadvantages of each of the mode so i hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what i'm doing
uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics cheers bye